Okay, so I already baked the spaghetti squash, as you can see. So right now I'm just actually just getting it out of there. But I'm just gonna take it all out. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this into a bowl, like so. I'm not gonna use all of it because I might wanna use this for noodles later. And I am going to add some salt. I pretty much eyeball everything. And I haven't really gotten any formal education on this. I just kind of do whatever seems right. And the first thing I put was salt. The second thing I put was garlic. And now I'm gonna put some pepper. You can really put any sort of seasonings that you like in this, honestly. But that's my winning combo. Oh, that and basil. That's about that in there. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is actually add some cheese. I use Trader Joe's shredded three cheese blend, but you can use whatever you want. Last time I actually used mozzarella. And you're gonna throw it off in there so that it actually sticks together. And you're gonna go ahead and mix that up. Okay, so one important step, again, I don't have this plan because I'm not big on recipes, but one of the things that I do is I actually cut the spaghetti squash so that it's easier to mix with everything else I'm putting in there. So another thing I put in there are eggs, and I kind of eyeball this, but I'm thinking one egg is probably gonna be enough. I just want it to help with making everything stick together. Oops, you didn't see that. Okay, so I just mix that into the mixture. Okay, so there is my initial mixture here. I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese actually because I like cheese. There we go. I feel a little better about that. Okay, so the last ingredient is almond meal and I get this from Trader Joe's and it just looks like that. All I'm gonna do is actually just scoop this into here until it seems like not too wet of a mixture. So we're just gonna go with that amount. Okay, this still looks a little bit wet to me. It's just, I don't know, it's a little goopy. So. I'm gonna add a bit more. And by the way, for anyone who is following my uncle's book, The Power of Metabolism, everything in here is considered a slimming food. So let's celebrate that. At least I will. That's what I've been following all along to lose my weight. It's been pretty easy too. Okay, so that's pretty much it on that mixture. Now I'm actually gonna try this a little bit just to taste. By the way, if it's organic eggs, you don't have to worry about getting any sort of like weird thing. But that seems like a pretty good consistency, so. Okay, so the next thing I'm, I'm going to do is lay out my parchment paper, okay? And then I'm going to oil this, or spray on some, uh, I'm using coconut oil spray. And then the last step here is just basically scooping these things onto this. Okay, just give me a little blob, you don't have to get fancy with it. Right now, I have this set at 350. You can't see that, so I'm not really sure why I'm pointing at it. But, um, oh, sorry, one last step. I'm actually going to spray the tops of these with a little bit of oil. It can help with making it, from what I've learned, um, making it a little crunchy. Anyways, maybe that's a lie, I'm not really sure. But now, I'm going to point this back down, and I'm going to go ahead and put this in the middle-ish rack again at 3.50 and I am just going to wait while that cooks. Just because I've seen this done before on other cooking shows, these are kind of hot, but I'm going to show you kind of what they look like on the inside out. Ow, ow, ow. Anyway, so you got the cheese and you can see the spaghetti squash a little bit in there. And yeah, and they're pretty good actually, so enjoy.